Hey guys, uh, over the past couple of days I've talked about some, well, serious topics I've talked about. So I've tried to commit suicide and how I suffered with depression and still am and how I tried to get over it and I, uh, I can, and I'm trying to help people get over it by giving some advice. But today I want to talk about something else that's, uh, not something else to do with my suicide attempt. If you end how to like, help yourself if you're thinking about committing suicide, basically the only reason why I'm still here is a couple of years ago I tried it as I showed you my scar on my arm. The only reason why that never actually went through is because someone caught me and they managed to stop bleeding but they didn't catch me I I don't know what, what would have happened to me uh, it, I would have it would have happened I would have lost my life and it's it hurt a lot basically because back, back then I didn't know what to do I was seriously depressed I wasn't right and it's just I, I, that was the, that was my only way out. And if I look back on it, it was it was a really good thing. It may, it seemed like a bad thing at the time, but it was that probably was one of the best things that could have happened by mistake. I mean, if that woman didn't find me, I don't know where I'd still be. Here. And basically, what I'm trying to say is, talk to someone, please. Don't. I'm still here because of a mistake. Don't be that one person that doesn't that doesn't get seen, and that that do kill themselves. Please talk to someone. Talk to me. Talk to one of your friends. Talk to a teacher. Talk to a counselor. Talk to anyone. Just don't be that one person that doesn't get caught that doesn't get caught by someone else. And just just don't please don't do it. It's, it's a hard thing for even I mean I've I'm on Reddit a lot and I've yesterday I found out about our R slash suicide watch and that was killing me just to read through some of the posts. Even though I don't know that person. I'm I will never will. But just seeing what they're going through, it affects people. It affected me so much that I couldn't sleep last night because I was so worried about all the people in there that I was worried that they will take their life. And I was afraid that if I, if I sleep and they need help and no one else is there, they might go through with it. Because that's what I needed in the end. I needed help and I couldn't see it. But then they are, they are asking for help. I mean, I had, that was the only time that I actually went through with it and tried. But if I never, if if I went through with it again before, like another time, I know I wouldn't have got caught because I made sure to do it when no one was around. But I wanted to do it, but something was stopping me. I don't know what. Maybe. I knew it would get better, but I don't know. It's just back then I was in such a hard place, and it was it seemed like the best decision. But in the end, suicide is never a good decision. It is the worst thing you can ever do because you affect so many people. I mean, just seeing some of the stuff people are going through on the internet without even knowing them. It's such a hard thing just to sit there and read. I mean, just hearing about someone killing themselves, it's... You may ne you will never know them, but just reading what someone's going through and that they're thinking about it, it's one of the worst things anyone can go through. And it's even worse if you know the person. I mean, I've got someone, I'm not going to say a name or anything because I don't want anyone, I don't want any angry ones, but I'll, someone contacted me couple of days ago because their friend is 
going through some depression and they tried to kill themselves and they contacted me because they want to help and that is one thing that no one does anymore no one helps I mean that was such a brave that was such a good thing to do he was he's there for his friend when but loads of people other people won't be and he touched me to my heart because just seeing what he did for his what he's trying to do for his friend I mean he didn't have to contact me about it he could have kept it to himself and basically tried to help him like himself but he knew I went through it so he, he wanted some help from someone who's gone through it himself and do that if you know someone who's thinking about killing themselves contact me contact anyone else and try and get and tell them about the situation try and get them to talk try and get your mate or your friend or something to talk to that person that's what he tried to do trying to get, he's trying to get his mate to talk to me but he's severely worried about him and I just can't believe uh, he's, he's not I mean he's quite young he's younger than me and all he's done for someone at that age and at that age I try to kill myself I just can't imagine helping someone going through, when this someone's trying to go through that I mean it was hard enough going through it but it may seem it doesn't seem like it but going through it is hard that's a given but seeing someone you care about go through it is even harder because you are seeing all everything that's going in their face and you know that there's nothing you can really do to help them they've got to help themselves and that's why I'm glad he contacted me because I've gone through it I know how to deal with it he doesn't as much he's tried his best but that's people need to, more people need to be like that nowadays people need to help each other you can't just ignore everything that goes on and just live your life you've got to be there for other people I mean I wish I was there to help someone else when they went through it because a few people I know have killed themselves and that's why I'm glad I could help my mate a couple of weeks ago to stop himself because I've known him for he's, I've known him the longest person I've known anyone and I don't know what I would have done if he did it it would have broke me even more I mean this is back before I met Win and I was in a bad place and if he did it I probably would have gone through with it but and it's just hard to talk about sometimes that's why I'm glad I'm doing these videos because it gets it off my chest and it basically clears my head a bit more and I just can't imagine where I would have been if I never met Wynn or anyone from Rooster Teeth because they're, so, they're, they're amazing they're some of the best people I've, I've all ever had the pleasure of knowing and I know if, if I ever met, meet Wynn in person because she lives in Philadelphia or New Jersey one of the two I know I'll probably if I met her I'll probably couldn't do anything because I just as soon as I see it, I'd break down and cry because I can never repay her for what she's done for me. I can never do anything that in the in the, in the slide that can that can help or well, help me repay her because I well I owe my life. I can't pay. Well, I I have a life debt to her. It's, I can never repay that. It's, that's one thing money they, you cannot put a price on that and it's just, it's just sometimes it does get overwhelming and it, if you're going through it and you just if you feel emotional and, all that and you want to cry and you but you think oh no I can't because that's wrong it's not everyone feels overwhelmed and all that emotions are a part of life just don't just break down if you need to. Just cry, scream, yell, anything. Just as long as you don't keep your emotions bottled up inside, because that's one of the worst things you can ever do. I did it for so many years, and 
I lost so many people over it because I never showed people where I truly was and that I used to I always used to have defences up because my emotions were so high I was so many things were running through my mind that I'll go through anger, pain, sad and all that happiness in about a couple of minutes and it was just too much for me to deal with. That's why I wish I spoke to someone sooner. So I just want to say thanks for watching guys and also when I hope you're feeling better after you were ill. Sorry to hear you're real. And I uh, wish you guys the best and please don't forget to help anyone you can. It's the best thing you can ever do. I mean making these videos make me feel so much better because I feel like I'm helping someone. So I will see you guys tomorrow, getting close to the end of the month, so that means my videos will come to an end. I'll probably start, I'll probably do it once a week or once a, a fortnight, whenever I can or if the same subject comes up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow and take care of yourselves. Please watch out for anyone. Bye.